there are few issues that still linger on. One is the issue of uh, of uh, late diagnosis, limited access to specialists, uh, limited transplant centers. There's a huge uh, rural and an urban urban divide that still exists with with regards to uh, um, access to medical care. Uh, there's an issue of financial toxicity, and also there is a weak integration of of chronic hematologic care into the primary and public health programs. Uh, I think the next five to ten years, uh, the efforts should prioritize in building a more distributed um, hematology workforce uh, and infrastructure that is that includes to expand screening programs, to establish registries and to secure affordable access uh, to essential and advanced therapies. And it should also include you know, chronic programs like sickle cell disease, thalassemias, hemophilias, um, which are important and huge public health burden. Um, though India, India has a high burden of hematologic malignancies like leukemias, myelomas, um, it it adds more uh, strain to the already strained oncology system, uh, and there's also the problem of non malignant chronic conditions like sickle cell disease, thalassemia, which is highly prevalent, and we have more new and new cases being added into the in into the community as we talk. Uh, sickle cell disease, as we know, like is concentrated in some of the tribal groups and some of the marginalized groups in our country uh, and also uh, and there's a significant number of um, uh, sorry um, hemophilia patients as well and there's a major shortage of and 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 this is all it, this all this adds to the um, healthcare burden and, and and the lack of access to effective and good treatment options the second problem which i see is that which we need to work on is that um, there's a major shortage and an inappropriate distribution of healthcare workers in the rural and the, and the urban areas um, and this is one of the problems which i think uh, in there's one of the problem that needs to be addressed in the long run um, there's also not you know, not this lack of uh, good um, blood banks, uh, access to you know hematopathologists and trained lab staff in say uh, in the in the in the, the district level and in the at the at the and the, uh, the you know PHC which you which you would call as primary health center level. Uh, this is one which one area which that needs to be addressed so that. You know the hematology is available to to anyone at the you know at the primary health center level, which is one of the basic you know uh, basic uh, foundations of our uh, healthcare system. Uh, we need to also strengthen our disease specific programs like sickle cell disease screening programs, the thalassemia screening programs. Uh, though there has been efforts by the government to establish the National Sickle Cell Anemia Elim Elimination Mission, uh, however, it has been constrained by gaps in the frontline worker awareness. Uh, there have been problems with logistics for population screening and also problems with the regular care of the patients who are already diagnosed with, say, sickle cell disease. And same goes for uh, you know other hemoglobinopathies like thalassemia. The lack, lack of all, again, um, lack of support for rare diseases like uh, congenital dyserythropoietic anemias, which you know do not fall under the blanket term of hemoglobinopathies. These are patients who are sort of marginalized and not recognized at least by the government as such, as a part of rare anemia disease uh, uh, disease segment. Also, I see problems with access, affordability, and and with the availability and access to advanced therapies because most of the health expenditure is out of pocket and uh, and a lot of patients are not covered by the available uh, government funded you know uh, healthcare programs 
uh, acts to allergenic transplant is better. CAR T is again, we have just two CAR T's available in India at present. We would like to have, you know, more, obviously, it gives us more options and probably, you know, give the best options for patients. And and these are some of the um, some of the things we need to work on. We need to work on strengthening our district level hematology, you know, deploy point of care and hemoglobin, uh, hemoglobin uh, point of care anemia screening, hemoglobinopathy screening and diagnostics, uh, expand our uh, disease specific public health programs for sickle cell, anemia, uh, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia and for, hemo, uh, for hemophilias and invest in the workforce in training um, for creating awareness for uh, hematology uh, and create posts for hematology and uh, you know make sure that the patients are not deprived of of you know uh, an equitable and uh, accessible care so these are some of the things we need to work on